Last week marked the seventh year since a military crackdown in Myanmar that has displaced hundreds of thousands of people. In recent months, around 8,000 Rohingyas have fled to Bangladesh to escape escalating violence in Myanmar's western Rakhine state. Lucy Lau, Head of Mission for Doctors Without Borders or MSF Malaysia, shares more about the ongoing humanitarian crisis. In the last few weeks, uh, we know that in Rakhine there have been extreme violence um, in the northern Rakhine state. Uh, um, to the extent that um, MSF operations in Bangladesh, Cox's Bazaar camp, um, we have received 80 to 100 patients uh, within a fairly short period of time um, with um, war wounds. So we're talking about landmine injuries, we're talking about gunshot. Um, we're also seeing patients who are extremely fragile because um, of a health system that is basically non-existent in Rakhine State. So, some you know they they've lost access to 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 medical care. With Malaysia set to assume the ASEAN chairmanship next year, Lucy called for the country to take decisive action to enhance protection for refugees and asylum seekers. Malaysia, with its leadership position, should still continue to work on ending the conflict in Myanmar. I think it can do that, um, leveraging on the on the leadership position in ASEAN and engaging with different dialogue partners. But as well as that, as a medical organisation, having worked with this population for more than 30 years, um, there really needs to be some short to mid term solutions um, for people that are already escaped um, from Myanmar and are seeking asylum in neighbouring countries such as Malaysia. Um, so we're talking about um, other neighbouring countries that are also uh, sitting on the ASEAN platform. I think there are specific solutions that the government can, can work on to increase the protection of refugees that are already in the country. Um, uh, we as MSF, we are collaborating with MOH and also Immigration Department to uh, particularly improve um, access to healthcare, um, in particular in um, in health, public health facilities. Um, potentially, uh, we are also advocating for having a good, um, accessible um, uh, health insurance system for uh, refugees and asylum seekers. That would be very important. Um, um, access to formal employment would also be important so that people have a sense of agency and also be able to uh, have sustainable solution, you know, when it comes to providing for their own family and also um, uh, avoiding uh, medical fees.